Chris Draper with Allstate. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Let's first talk about what everybody needs to know during hurricane season is once a system enters the Gulf, you, there are no changes to be made and you cannot add any get the insurance or add anything to your policy. Right. So the official start of hurricane season was actually June 1st. Right. So we're in preparation mode now and what you want to do immediately is check and make sure that you have the right coverage to protect your property whether that's your home or your vehicles. You want to look and make sure that you have coverage for certain things like wind damage from a hurricane or flooding from rising water. That's very important and again that's something you have to do now. You can't wait until it's too late. Exactly and a lot of people find out when it is too late that their coverage maybe is not what they thought. Some people who were displaced during Harvey uh, may have had the question will insurance cover the cost of your displacement? Well of course because Harvey as you know a couple years ago was a very devastating event and what FEMA studies showed is about 80% of people that were displaced or in Harvey or had some sort of damage did not have proper flood insurance in place to cover those losses. So yeah, that's, that's probably the most important policy that you can have and it's one of the least expensive policies that you can buy uh, for your insurance coverage protection. And we always talk about homeowners insurance. So let's talk about that when your home, it, if it happens, God forbid, if a home gets flooded, is that the homeowners insurance policy that you then go through? So generally most home insurance policies do not cover flood damage so rising water would be excluded from the policy and so what you want to do is you want to get a separate policy from the national flood insurance program and you can go to floodsmart.gov or you can check with your local insurance representative they'll be able to help you with that policy and get that in place now what you want to do again prepare do it before the hurricane gets in the gulf because there's a 30-day mandatory waiting period that's required so you want to get that in place before we have any issues or rising water. And you also want to ask those questions. Call your adjuster, figure it out and say, am I covered? Ask these simple, same questions what we're asking you. Yeah, you want to make sure that you have that coverage in place. Check with your insurance agency. A, a, a licensed agent can walk you through uh, what's covered, what are some of the things to expect, uh, as well as some additional coverages that you may not know are available after the storm hits, after you file a claim, if you are displaced from your house, like additional living expenses or what's called loss of use coverage. Separate flood insurance, by the way, is generally a whole lot cheaper than homeowners insurance, mm -hmm. right? Well, it depends. depends. So that a lot of people think it is very expensive, but most of the uh, viewers here in the area are in a preferred flood zone X, and that policy is only a few hundred dollars a year. It starts about two, three hundred dollars a year, and the most it could cost is four hundred and fifty dollars a year. Again, if you're in a preferred zone. Now, if you're in a standard flood zone, so an area that's more prone to flooding, and we saw a lot of that. Obviously, during Harvey, there's certain areas you know when the water starts to rise that it's going to flood. Those standard flood zones are going to cost a little bit more than $450, but it all depends on how high your house sits in relation to the rest of the community. Okay. So again, definitely check with floodsmart.gov or your local licensed insurance professional and they'll be able to walk you through that. Let's talk about uh, flood damage to our vehicles because that's an issue obviously if we're driving or trying to get home or somewhere and we're out and we get caught in sort of that high rising water. What happens then? Yes, if you don't listen and heed the advice of <laughs> turn, turn around, around don't, don't drown. drown, then there's a very good chance that if you're driving around in floodwaters, your vehicle is going to become immobilized. Now, uh, if you have comprehensive coverage, coverage on your policy, and that's insurance coverage that protects from uh, weather-related events like a tree falling on your car or rising water, flood insurance damage, then you're going to be okay. But remember, while your vehicle is being repaired, you're also going to need something to drive, so also make sure that you have that rental car protection on your policy as well, and that coverage will pay for you to, to rent a vehicle while yours is in the shop. So, And Chris, very quickly, we're just about yeah. out of time. Let's say there is a hurricane forming down in the Gulf. What things should we be doing to prepare ourselves in the days before the storm actually hits us? Days before the storm hits, you want to make sure that you have a plan in place for your family. You want to make sure that everyone knows where they're going to be if the storm hits, as well as have some supplies on hand. You want to have a gallon of water per day per person for three days. You want to have food, certainly gas your vehicles up. Gas was very hard to get yeah. after the recent hurricanes. And so you want to make sure that you have all these things, even a weather radio so you can keep track of what's going on. And then certainly, again, make sure your pets are taken care of and everyone knows what's going on, has a plan in place. And please, 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 make sure that you have the right insurance protection coverage on your policy. Absolutely. Do the homework now. Chris, very important conversation. Thanks so much yes. for stopping Thank by. We've got to have you back to continue it.
Certainly. By the way, Allstate does post hurricane preparedness tips regularly on their Twitter page. You can call, follow them by searching for Allstate TX. And for more information on Allstate, you can give them a call at 1-800-255-782-83 or visit them online at allstate.com. Thanks so much.